Hi everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well and staying safe. Today I'm sharing what compelled me to make I Can't Breathe, which actually started off as one of a series of abstract art pieces that I completed in an A4 sketchbook. And this one was made with transparent watercolour paints in January this year. The colour scheme and the materials are, are listed below in the description. But first, I have an important message I want to share. The visceral horror of George Floyd's slow public execution under the knee of a Minneapolis police officer in the United States has cut through the global consciousness in a way not seen really since the police attack on Rodney King in 1991. As a woman of colour who, despite my light brown skin complexion, has always felt the burden of racism on my back, I stand in solidarity with the African-American community, the British black community, and with the black community throughout the world. I'm aligned with the spirit and soul of Black Lives Matter everywhere. I think the world has woken up at last and is listening. Let's talk about the painting. The painting came first, the words came second, and they arrived on the 2nd of June. When I say they arrived, I wrote them on my phone late that evening. I wanted to add the words so as to tie this piece together and produce it as mixed media abstract art. The words, I can't breathe, means take your knee off my neck. I can't breathe means you're killing me. What do I have to say for you to be humane? What do I have to do? Die so you can stop? George Floyd lost his life. Let's give him a voice. I was feeling the need to take action rather than dwelling on how sad and outraged I was feeling about yet another death of a black person as a result of police brutality. So I chose this piece for a number of reasons, not just because of George Floyd. I chose it because the majority of the colour scheme, the yellow, red, green and black, reflected part of my cultural heritage by representing the Ghanese flag. So adding words transformed the painting and added a political context or a dimension while simultaneously representing my Guyanese cultural heritage. The intention behind the artwork wasn't at all political. The intention of using the artwork was. So it's a mixture of personal and political using my artwork to share an important message. And art can do that, particularly abstract art. It can represent and include a political message and in this piece, it also does represent George Floyd, as well as the hundreds that came before him that were murdered by the arms, hands, knees or the force of the white police in the US and UK and anywhere else that police brutality may be happening without us knowing or seeing because the video footage hasn't been captured. A friend of mine said that the juxtaposition of the colours and direct words of this piece was impressive. What do you think? Do let me know in the comment section below. Does it impress upon you? Thank you for watching and please do follow me on Instagram Check out my artist's website. All the links are listed below. Stay safe and bye for now.